Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day. Right, so for this video, we are still on chapter 4 which is the collision and rigid body dynamics. In our previous video, I've already explained to you the introduction of the key components inside the Unity Rigid, Unity Physics Engines. So, uh, the main physics component that we can manipulate and use wisely inside the Unity is the Collider. Which is the Collider is a component that allow the game's objects they are attached to to react to other colliders provided that one of the game objects is attached with the rigid body. Okay, so let's now go to the unity so that you can see how this um, collider help you doing a lot in the unity. So let's go to our unity. So let's say here I have an object which is the cube and the sphere. As been mentioned before, there are several types of collider that you can see or you can use in uh, Unity. For example, like there are sphere collider, this one. Can you see the green one? Right. And there are also a cube. So the cube you can adjust by I've shows how to adjust the collider in the previous uh, ni. Or you may also add an empty object. For example, like creating the empty game object. And then you add component and you give the, the collider to it. For example, I give the capsule collider. So here is the capsule collider. See? Alright, so I don't need this collider. I'm going to delete it for a while. Okay. So go back to the... Oh, my sphere. So here the sphere. Let's play the game and see what's going on. As you can see, when you play the game, the ball is dragged by the gravity and falling down. Why? Because this sphere or this ball has a rigid body and I enable the use gravity function here. Okay. And then, what is going, what I want to show you is uh, when the collision, when the, when an object touch or enter the collider of another game object, you can see inside the debug log. How to see this is by using the script attach to the sphere example this sphere is attached to the on collision script so on collision script as you can see here i'm using a code to show to you how or when the collision is happen so when a game object touch a collider of another game object that we attaching this uh, code, you can see the debug will call this enter call. And when it stay connected or stay contacted with the collider of the object, so the message of stay occurring will happen. And once it did not attach or contact with the collider, so the debug log will print the message of exit call. Right, let's see this in our example. Okay, so go to console. Clear. Right, so. See, or oh, sorry, let's do it slow. Let's play and pause. As you can see, once it contact with the collider, once the sphere contact with the collider on the box, 
so it will call the enter call and as long as it stay on the box collider so the stay occurring message will be called and once it's end see they are not contented anymore so the exit call will be called you can check this using the uh, this debug log okay this the next example i want to show is about the is trigger remember in our previous uh, video i've told you that collider can act as a trigger so what's going here is that if you want if we uh, we put the is trigger function able or we check this is trigger the object will pass through the another object without any uh, contacted or without any staying occur but if we did, did not want the object to pass through the ob uh, another game object so you have to uncheck the is trigger okay let's say i create another new empty object and i want to show that when this sphere is passing through this uh, empty object it will send a message saying that the object is within the trigger okay so let's see okay sorry I have to here disable first and okay the main camera to focus on this align with this view and then the trigger should use the another object because uh, in this part i want to show to you first how the debug shows on this using the script okay so right here so all right let's go to the clear and when this view okay let's see we play and all right so sorry i want to make sure that the trigger is new in this so that you can see when it contact or when it's triggered into so when the ball is enter it's entered the trigger and then here you can see when the object is within the trigger so it's within the trigger because this game object this empty game object is uh, make us uh, is trigger function so when we play so as you can see it's still within the trigger unless it scroll down so it will be object outside the trigger okay so and then the next one is i want to show it to you the script that i'm using for this all right this is what i mean when the object enter the trigger area so it will send a message saying that the object entered the trigger object is within the trigger or the object has already exited the trigger okay so the next one is i want to show to you how to make this object floating inside the trigger area so now let's remove this component and add i'll show you the coding later on and then i want to be small enough okay to make sure that the object is not um, moving around so i want to freeze the position of x and z so that it will floating upside down up and down okay so let's go again so make sure that it's floating inside this 
So play. As you can see, the object is floating here inside. Why? Because we give a code to that when a trigger when the trigger stay is happen so the other which is the collider object with the attached rigid body give the vector tree up multiplying with the hover force and the acceleration so this make your ball floating inside the game object right but this one is touching the, I'm doing the touching, so you can play around with the hover. See, you can play around with the hover force. Okay. So, the next one is to apply the rigid body and to see what's happened when an object with a rigid body is uh, and enable the you able you enable the use gravity and the function of its kinematic, right? For example, in this case, for example, like here, let's say we want we we add a rigid body to this cube, right? Like this one, I add a rigid body to this cube, and then I didn't put any I didn't able or I didn't check the use gravity so what will happen is that when you play the game you can see that the ball push the boss falling down all right so we don't want um, okay so we don't want the cube to be affected by another object by the sphere so in this case you can check the is kinematic. So when you check the is kinematic function there, you can see that the ball or the sphere is not affected the cube. Okay, that one. Another one is that let's say I'm using the use gravity to the box and for the sphere we disable or we make it invisible for a moment. So focus on this blue box. Right, so when you use the gravity, uh, by default, gravity is the negative 9.81, isn't it? But you can manage or you can change the value of gravity by going to the edit and project setting and then choose the physics here. Here, physics. And then, right, can you see that? Right, okay. As you see here, the gravity is uh, affected on the y axis downward, which is the negative 9.81. But you may change uh, any of the gravity value or gravity direction, especially when you want to conduct a physics uh, or puzzle games. So let's say I'm adjusting here with negative 5. So play the game you can see that it is dragging downwards but toward the negative z okay this is a positive z so negative z let's say i am changing it to this is zero and we have the gravity towards x axis which is the x axis is in front so negative 4 play so you can see it goes toward the x axis. So you can play around with the gravity value to fix uh, your gender or to fix whatever you want to do. Okay. Besides, inside this rigid body, there are other material which is like interpolate. You can choose either you want to do the interpolate or the extrapolate, collision destruction or the freeze position. This freeze position, as I shown earlier, in when using the empty object, you want to freeze it in what position? So you can choose to tick 
if you tick XYZ, so it will be freeze in the XYZ position. So basically, for example, like the ball, I make it, remember this ball, I make it, it to freeze at the X and Z position. Okay, that is all about the physics function in the unity that you can play around. Next, we will go to see for the physics of the joint, I think. Yeah, for the fixed joint, hinge joint, and the rest. If you have any question, don't hesitate. Jangan teragak-agak. Jangan teragak-agak nak bertanya, ya. Okay, sekian dari saya. Terima kasih.